Hey guys, this is Greg Walker, and I'm here to present my PBL um, activity. I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but with Caps Night at the high school, it makes it kind of difficult. So uh, let's just get started. The screencastomatic.com website is what I use for all of my uh, video lectures that I put online through my Flip Classroom, which I'll get to in just a moment. The PBL activity is on the topic of populism, and that's one of our units in uh, American History One, the freshman class at the high school. The actual unit is Settling the West Populism and the Railroads. And it deals with westward expansion in the 1860s and how government was not helping the people and, and the farmers were really facing a lot of troubles and, and excessive charging by the railroads. We won't get into all that, but that's basically what the topic's all about. A DBQ is uh, what we call a document-based question. Um, because of the flipped classroom model, I'm able to have a lot more time in class to do uh, fun items and in-depth items. Kids can actually learn a little bit more on specific issues. So what a DBQ does is it takes an overall theme like populism and then you explore a major issue on that topic. You, the students get to see and read primary source documents. They have to answer little questions about each document which helps them generate a question for the main question or the DBQ itself. Uh, a little word on the flipped classroom. Um, traditional classrooms, you have a lecture in class, you send the students home with homework and the next day the kids come back and they don't have their homework. They didn't know how to do it, they didn't do it, they forgot to do it, whatever the case may be. In a flipped classroom, you flip it around. What used to be done at home is now done in class. What used to be done in class is now done at home. It's really that simple. There's a lot of upfront work, but it's really that concept. It's that simple. So for this unit, I give kids an out, a set of outline notes. Um, they go home, log on to Blackboard. They find my video, what I call a vodcast, a video podcast. Um, as they watch the vodcast, they fill out the notes. And then for accountability measures, I've created a document using Google Docs. Um, they have to fill it out and um, all of the questions on the vodcast form are straight from the vodcast itself. So again, I'm, watch I'm checking accountability and I'm checking their understanding of the material. Um, so that allows me free time, or not free time, that allows me to free up some time in class instead of lecturing in class all the time for things like a DBQ. Now for populism, our DBQ was what were the three most important issues of the populist movement? So the kids have the background knowledge after watching my vodcast, and then they come back to class and we do this DBQ where they have certain primary source documents about the topic, about the issue. They have to answer the many questions. And then this particular DBQ required students to put their answers in a trifold brochure format. Now, if this were the 1990s, that would be fantastic because that would be really cool back then. Um, but today, with all of the technology that we have, doing a trifold brochure is almost as much fun as, well, that. So then the philosophical question arises. What do you do? Do you have them do the old trifold brochure? Or do you incorporate some kind of technology? So what happens? Well, PBL to the rescue. On a bright, shining flash of light, it all came to me. Give the students a choice. Form small groups, let them collaborate, let them create, and then, of course, they have to present, and most of my kids like to get in front of a camera, and a lot of them wanted to do um, presentations on, on camera. So, that's what we do. And the end result is several excellent videos, of which neither I can share here. I've, I say neither. I have two that I want to show you. Um, you see the link here. If you were to click the link, I don't even know if you can. I don't know if it's if it's clickable, but um, I will post these links as an attachment to my post on Edmodo following this this podcast. This one was done by Grace Park. Many of you may know Grace, and then another group. They're just absolutely fun to have in class. You see two here: Luke Hosworth, Jordan Spence, and then Spence, and then also joining them will be Chance Allen and Brayton Hoskins. I'll post this link as well. So if you have any questions, let me know. Email me. This, this was a lot of fun. The kids had a blast with it and we got away from the old boring uh, brochure folded paper activity. <laughs>